Singapore, we love our food. We have food from all different cultures. Food is a big part of our culture, but it's also a significant part of our um, waste problem. Um, I think on average, 750,000 tons of food waste is being thrown away each year in Singapore. At NTU, uh, my colleagues and I are taking this food waste and trying to convert it into something new and different. So at NTU, uh, what we have done is to take some of the food waste that would otherwise be discarded in, and convert it into something different and new. So for example, for prawn shells, what we do is to take out this compound called kytosan and um, make it into biodegradable film, which can be used in food packaging, um, containers. And um, there is also okara, which is soybean residue. What we do here is um, to ferment it and using the liquids, we can help to support the alternative protein industry. Um, and last of all is the durian husk. What we can do is to convert it into um, bandages for wound dressing. I feel really excited to be here to be able to convert waste products, which would have otherwise been thrown away and of no value to something useful and potentially be able to have an impact on the environment and on the world we live in. E-waste is really a modern problem because of the increasing technological advances that has been taking place. E-waste is very different from other forms of waste because it consists of toxic elements such as lead, cadmium, mercury, etc., which are environmentally harmful and also harmful to human lives. Roughly globally, over 7 million tons of lithium-ion batteries are produced every year, and among them, only 5% are recycled. So at NTU, we are looking at environmentally friendly ways of recycling, recovering these elements from waste lithium-ion batteries. So we do not employ very high temperature or very strong harmful toxic acids. What we use is acidity that is in fruit peel skins, for example, orange peels. We use them to extract useful elements like lithium, cobalt, manganese from lithium-ion batteries. We are able to recover greater than 96% of these elements from old batteries, we are able to make new lithium-ion batteries. In Singapore, uh, the land is precious. The Semakau landfill is the only landfill in Singapore. And unfortunately, it has a limited space. That means that approximately 2035, we will run out of space in the landfill. We have to look for alternative technologies so that we manage the space better. In municipal solid waste, there is lots of things that could be recycled. One of the options to ultimately treat waste is to perform incineration or gasification. In high temperature slugging gasification, we apply very high temperature in order to convert the waste into so-called syngas, uh, as well as all the residues that are left behind are being melted. We are able to separate metal from slag. Both of them have practical applications. The metal can be sent for recycling, and the other part is the slag, which we can use as a substitute for sand in development of sustainable construction materials. In Singapore, it has been used for constructing footpath, plaza, and some of the street furniture. Hopefully, not in a long future, we would see whole buildings or even whole cities made out of the trash that otherwise would end up in a landfill. That would bring us closer to a more sustainable future. Sustainability is one of humanity's grand challenges that impacts all lives and requires very ambitious solutions. Finding ways to reuse and repurpose waste is a key to sustainability. We have finite resources. So as we move towards a sustainable future, it's imperative to see how we can reuse these resources over and over again. 
At NTU, that is exactly what we do. By employing environmentally friendly processes, we are able to recover, reuse and repurpose these waste, thus showing that there is a lot of treasure in trash.